Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Beginner's Guide. My name is Josh, this is episode 3. Hope everybody is having a nice day today and everybody is healthy and doing well. Uh, so when I got back to the base after the last episode, I decided to spend a little bit of time digging one of those staircases I was talking about downward. Uh, and as you can see, I've started going down here and I ran into some actual coal. So this is pretty great because we I wanted something to cook the steaks with. I didn't want to cook them with sticks, so I figured it was nighttime. I figured I would just take some time and dig downward here a little bit to see if I could run into some coal. And sure enough, I did. So I'm going to dig out this coal here. You can see we get some experience orbs. That's what those little uh, lights are that pop up from digging out this coal. So just for that, it's always good to just sort of dig it out. And uh, early on in your play too, uh, anytime you come across ore like this, you it, it would probably behoove you to just clean it all out and get it into your inventory because you will most likely need it for something. I tend to hoard and keep anything I find in this game. My house that we will eventually build will be filled with chests. Uh, I do my best to keep things organized, but I am not a real organized person by nature, so it's a little bit harder for me to keep things tidy, but I'll do my best for you guys. So there we go. We got some coal. I'm going to take this back up. We'll work on this little mine shaft later as we have time. Now I'm going to toss these steaks in the oven with one of our coal pieces. Got some leather here from those cows. I'm going to toss that in our chest. Got some cobblestone. Actually, we got two stacks. I'll throw a stack in there. Got some extra wood. Rotten flesh from the zombie we killed. We don't need the wheat seeds or that sapling. Toss this block in here. We want to keep our inventory open when we go explore that mine because we're going to get a lot of dirt, a lot of cobblestone, and hopefully a lot of other useful things. So... I think this is a good amount of things to take with us. I'm going to toss some of this cobblestone in my menu bar. We could probably use, always use more torches. I like to just always have at least a big stack close to 50 in my inventory. Uh, we could use some oak planks and probably some more sticks too, which I will throw in here. All right, all right, uh, and we may as well make another pickaxe too while we're at it. And we still have our shovel, we still have a full axe and a sword. I think we are good to go. Let's see if our steaks are done. Yes, they are, let's eat because we are far hungrier than we should be. I'm gonna take two of these to fully complete it. There we go, our health is full. Let's go back to that ravine. Now we are deciding to venture out here at night uh, to just give you a taste of what it's like out here. Uh, you can see... There is a creeper over there. There are three skeletons, uh, a spider. Yeah, yeah, this was probably not the wisest move. And we don't really have a lot of food yet, so I don't really know what we're doing here. Um, ah, spider. <laughs> We're probably going to die, aren't we? Run away. Ah, uh, Creeper. And the sun is finally out, taking care of our monsters for us. I am actually going to kill these pigs.
now. Okay, so we have finally uh, vanquished most of the foes around here. The sun is up, but we really need to go back inside and eat something. Even this probably is not going to help us very much. Let's eat this pork chop here. And it did not take us there. We are going to need to kill another pig. All right, the mobs are vanquished. We have recovered some of our health. Uh, we need to be careful. I did see some creepers walking around still, and as I mentioned before, they do not, uh, they do not disappear when the light comes out. Uh, so we need to be cautious of them because they will sneak up on us and blow us up. We are still a little bit low in the health department. We're going to have to kill some animal uh, and probably make a furnace wherever we are to cook and eat. We're going to have to get one of those cows back at the ravine. So let's go. Here we are. You can see my pillar off in the distance that we built last time. I am going to take care of this cow here. There are some wolves. I don't know if we can really eat those. Um, we've got plenty of sheep here that we can eat if we need to. How are we looking for cows? we still got, I see, four-ish. But I think we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to get another one. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to get down there. Um let's see. Let's uh let's set up a crafting table here first. Um just to keep a little base of operations here at the top of this ravine. And we will put a stove next to it so we can cook the steak that we just made. Let's see, raw beef. Man, we're getting uh, it's two meat to drop from each one of those. That's pretty crazy. Don't need our seeds really right now, but we do need to eat. Steak is one of the best things you can eat. You can see it fills up like five of those hunger bars. Now we can fully replenish our health. And we'll have a couple extra to take with us down into the cave. You don't have to worry as much about day-night cycle when you're down in the caves because you really need to think of it as always night because it's always dark. So generally, spend a lot of time down in the cave and you don't really pay attention that much about what the uh, what the day-night cycle is. So we need to figure out how to get down there. I think the best way is to just sort of dig a staircase out uh, in the side of it, maybe, and just walk down. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we're going to have to put some blocks here on the... Uh, on the side and look we can already see a bunch of iron ore right down here which is great so we are building our little staircase down oops add a cobblestone and we're just going to take our time here I'm going to build a little side bridge out here so we can get over to that iron. That seems like it would be worth our time. Uh, like this. Here we 
go. Uh, let's see if we can... Uh, I'd like to see if we can build some stone underneath these to catch the ore so that it doesn't drop all the way down. There we go. Perfect. Some iron here. Uh, this is already a success in my mind. This is really what I wanted to get with some iron so we can make the rest of our, uh, the rest of our iron armor set. Uh, and we want a bucket too, because whenever you're going down into a cave, it's always good to bring a bucket of water with you. And uh, I will demonstrate why in a little bit, but uh, it has to do with the lava pool that you'll see at the bottom. When you pour water over lava, it turns into obsidian, which is a kind of an important um, block that we'll use in the later parts of the game. Let me see, where else? Did I see more iron over there? We can just build our staircase down here, I think, right? Oops. Misclick. Uh, something like that. So you'll hear sounds like that every once in a while in this game, and they, they really don't mean anything and um just some tip if you want to go into options video settings i think it's under it's you know where it is it's probably under accessibility subtitles yes uh subtitles on and that's what you see in the bottom right corner of the screen you see it says footsteps right now but um it's a good tip to have on early on when you don't know what the various sounds and noises are because it'll tell you so you'll hear a groan or something, and, you, and you'll and you look down, and it'll say zombie groan. So you'll know that somewhere there's a zombie close by. Um, it's just good if you're not familiar with the sounds of the game to have the subtitles on. Um, so you'll know if there's like an Enderman or zombie skeleton, that kind of thing. Or if there's like, uh, if you hear bubbling behind a wall, you don't know if it's lava or water. It'll explicitly say whether or not it's lava or water. Here's some more iron down here too, which is pretty great right now. This is this is what we want. Uh, some other tips when you're mining too, you never want to dig directly above your head uh, because you could be close to some lava and it could just drop right on top of your head. And if you catch on fire, that's bad news. Uh, you're going to be in big trouble. And it's very hard to uh, recover from that. Uh, if your items burn up, they they are generally gone forever. So if you die and all your items spill out and they drop down into the lava, um, they are gone forever. So just word to the wise, be careful around lava. Use blocks to build little dams to prevent the, the lava from uh, coming out into spaces that you need to be and have that bucket of water on you in case you're ever on fire you can always dump the water out run through it and that'll put out any flames got a bunch of coal here which is good to have we should be placing torches down here which we've been kind of bad about the lava does provide some amount of light but as you start to dig and you make these various nooks and crannies and things like that um it gets dark in there in those spots and if you don't light them mobs can eventually spawn there so as you're moving through caves and things like that, you want to make sure you are properly lighting places. And it can be hard in ravines, especially, because there are lots of ledges and things that stick out that you can't get to, and mobs can spawn up on those ledges. And if it's the creepers, the ones that explode, they can drop down on your head, like all up there, all those ledges they could be spawning down on, and uh, they could drop down on your head, and will not be fun for anybody. Um, I'm going to try to just walk along this ravine here, and maybe we'll start to dig a little tunnel deep into it. Uh, I'm going to put some torches out here. Here's some more coal. But I don't want to be out in the ravine like this in the daytime uh, because of the creepers that can drop down and end your shit pretty quickly. So I'm going to start digging inward a little bit. 
and then start mining uh, a tunnel downward. Uh, that's kind of our goal here. We want to keep going deeper until we come across another cave or uh, some, some more iron. Uh, and it looks like our little stairwell has opened up into another cave to explore. So we are going to jump down there in a moment. Uh, I wonder if it's worth building a door here to sort of protect us a little bit uh, during the night. Um, we should put some dirt up here at least. Keep our backs safe. Let's see what we got so far. 23 iron, that is pretty great. We still got two steak. Plenty of torches. Let's keep going here. Uh, let's put the torch here. I'm going to try to put some cobblestone down, down there if I can get it. Perfect. Let's find some of this out. And the key to exploring caves is to make sure you just get a torch out there uh, and start putting some light out in the area. Um, because you're going to find down in these caves you run into zombies and monsters and things pretty frequently because it's so dark. Just trying to make an easy way down and an easy way up if we run into some creepers or something. I'm going to throw my torch out and just start moving down into the cave, placing torches as I go. I tend to go pretty quickly to just light up the area and then fight any mobs as I encounter them. And then if I find any, any ore and things like that, I will double back and collect it. So... Uh, rule, uh, or actually not, not a rule, but a tip if you, when you're exploring caves is to try to keep your torches on, uh, the same side. So as I'm going into caves, I like to place my torches on the right. So, because these can create a lot of winding caverns and things like that, and it's very easy to get disoriented and lost. So I, uh, a tip that I've learned is to, uh, always have your torches on one side of the wall that way. When it's time to leave the cave, you just go back, and if the torches are on the left side, then you know you're going back the way that you came. Uh, so that's just a, a little tip there. So I see this lava pit here, and what I'm going to do is build some stone around it. Uh, and what I think I might do is wall up right here. trying to get a light up there um it's gonna be hard to walk up there and i think if mobs spawn they'll they'll end up riding the water down into this pool and they'll be a little bit easier uh for us to kill um so we're not gonna go up we're gonna keep going down and i want to move over to the right here here we go down into the cave there's more iron we've passed a couple iron spots at some point but i like to just keep moving, and then double back to places once I know stuff has been lit pretty well. So this looks like a dead end here. So now what I'll do is I'll go back. Now that I know that it's all lit up in front of me and I know there's no monsters in there, I will now go back and I will mine out all of the ore and things and things that we've passed. So what I think I'm going to do here is go back and mine through, uh, collect up a lot of the iron that we passed, and uh, get it back over to our base so we can smelt it up and make some more iron armor, iron tools, because we've got a lot right now. We don't want to lose it. And then what we'll do is we'll come back with our full set of gear. Um, maybe we'll, we'll move our base of operations out to the grassy field area, where kind of near where the ravine is. Uh, see that sound if you looked in the subtitles it just said eerie noise it's not coming from anything it's just something that the developers added to uh, give the caves a little bit of a character so we are actually out of uh, a pickaxe 
what we can do is throw down a crafting table. This is why I recommended to bring wood with us. We will create a quick crafting table right down here to build ourselves a new pickaxe. And we can get some of this coal and iron right up here. You're going to find me disregarding my own advice a lot of the time. I do stupid things. I mine <laughs> uh, the rocks that are directly above me when I'm not supposed to. But it's always good to have some blocks and stuff in your hotbar so that you can quickly plop stuff down if iron uh, or if lava starts flowing out. Something else we can talk about briefly too. Uh, I mentioned this in one of the prior videos, but ore uh, becomes more frequent. Certain ore is more frequent at certain depths. Uh, depths. So, what you kind of need to do if you're if you're setting out to get specific things is you need to be mining at the at the proper depth. I'm gonna fill in some of the spot that I just mined to not make it a spot for mobs to spawn tend to do that a lot there um yeah so if you're um if you're looking for uh like diamonds for example they are only going to show at certain depths and you can see again the debug tools by hitting f3 and those coordinates there in the second paragraph on the left pane the xyz the y is your depth so right now we are at level 41 the 41st block uh if you will uh, and each time you go down a level, that number will go down. Uh, and you'll find diamonds tend to be around closer to the bottom uh, of of the map, uh, down near the bedrock, which is uh, a rock that you can't mine. <clears throat> it's a rock that's at the very, very bottom of the map. Uh, and around there, there tends to be a lot of lava. Uh, but that's where you will find diamonds and redstone. So ultimately, our goal is to get down to around that depth where we can get diamonds uh, because they are the, the strongest metal in the game uh, for making armor and things like that. So we want to make diamond weapons, diamond armor, and we will need diamonds to do that. So we are going to be looking to move down to around, I guess, uh, 10, between 8 and 15. So uh, we're getting there, um, but we need to keep digging downward at some point, and this cave reaches a dead end, so we'll probably go to that dead end and just start digging downward. Um, another trick you can do is if you hear sounds like zombies and things behind the wall you may as well just dig towards them because they're probably in uh, some kind of cave complex and uh, the caves now we got to be careful here there's lava flowing out so there might be a lava lake up here and we're digging up above so we need to be careful we don't want to dig into like a lava lake uh, but what I think I'm gonna try to do is see if I can wall this off A little bit. Still some iron up there in the wall. That's probably going to burn up right there. All right. That might be good. I think when we come back down, maybe we'll try to explore up that way um, a little bit. But again, sometimes in the early game when I'm when I'm moving upward, I feel like I'm not going in the right direction. I want to be going down. I want to be getting down to those lower levels where the diamonds and stuff are. So get some of this coal. some iron over here. It looks like the cave continues downwards from here too, so we will explore down here a little bit. Another dead end, but more iron, which we will gladly take. I don't think we'll have to worry about iron for a little while. This has been a pretty good 
haul for us. What do we what do we have? 53 iron ore. We almost have a full stack of iron, which is pretty great. Uh, I don't know if I've ever gotten that much on my initial caving exploration here at the beginning of the game, but uh, our cup runneth over. It's probably a good time to make a hasty retreat if you find yourself holding on to a lot of stuff, and it's daytime, so that's good too. Uh, if you find yourself holding on to a lot of items, you might want to get back to your base where you can unload some of it. The longer you out, uh, the longer you are out, obviously you run the risk of death and horrible things happening to you if you haven't dropped off your stuff. And you can always pick it, go back to your body and try to pick it back up. Uh, but be aware, you only have about five minutes to do so. Uh, and then those items will despawn and they will not be around anymore. Uh, let's see if we can finish building our staircase here. Uh, put another block here. Here we go. Let me dig upwards here. Probably don't have to worry about lava showing up uh, at this height. Probably safe to dig directly up above us. Famous last words, though. And here we are. All right. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is head back to our uh, little hole in the wall, uh, collect some of our things, and maybe build some sort of mud hut out here in the field where we can put a bed down and call this sort of open plains area our first home. Uh, we have plenty of cows and animals. Uh, let's see, looks like there could be another cave down in here. And we have some water out there to which we can get water from and start growing and building crops and things like that. So maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. We will uh, build up a little shelter out in here. We'll make a bed. We'll set our save point and start building up a little base of operations right near this ravine where we will uh, keep digging downwards and onwards. Uh, so I think that might do it for this one today. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, as always, please like and subscribe if you found this video, uh, I don't know, entertaining, maybe, maybe? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.